in real quick, y'all. This shit gonna be quick. Okay, so basically, to be a psychic, to be a psychic is as simple as you being an empath, and guys, I'm gonna break these things down as best as I can. Being an empath, an empath is a empath is just as simple as it being a person that is able to feel without any logical explanations as to where that feeling is coming from. So when you have no understanding, well, that's actually anxiety. My bad, y'all. So emp empathy. Empathy is basically you being able to feel, simply you being able to feel. Now, if you were able to feel and not have any direction as to where that feeling is coming from, that is a diagnosis of, of anxiety. So we don't want to confuse anxiety with empathy. Uh, anxiety is the fact that you don't have any direction as to where that empathy is coming from. So when you have anxiety, you, you're empathic, of course, but you don't have any information as to where that energy is coming from. So that leaves you with the feeling of being uncertain. Anxiety is a false diagnosis of being uncertain as to where a particular energy is coming from because everybody is empathic. You would not be able to move, walk, talk, smell without being empathic, without feeling energy, without receiving energy so that you are able to project energy outwardly into this physical paradigm, this physical world. Everybody's empathic. It just depends on how empathic you are when it comes to understanding yourself. When you can accept yourself, when you can understand yourself, that allows you to be on a higher vibration of empathy, being able to receive, accept. You know, every time you see pictures of Jesus, accepting, Jesus is a psychic. No, I am not religious. I am a person who studies all religions. So back into everyone being psychic. How Salts. How you doing? What's up, Galaxy? How you doing? Okay, so I'm going to get into this thing real quick. Everybody, nobody that ever walked this planet has ever not been psychic. It's impossible to not be psychic because psychic is just as simple as being aware and being able to receive energy. We would not be conscious if we weren't able to receive at all. I'm doing good, Triple Goddess Salts. So back into the meaning of us being psychic. You tap more into your psychic abilities when you are receptive of all energy now without being filled with anxiety, with uncertainty. That's what anxiety is, uncertainty. Unaware of where a particular energy is coming from. So, you saying that you have anxiety and you, yeah, I mean, you don't have uncertainties at times, but when you are constantly uncertain as to where your energy is coming from, you have to then stabilize your energy by doing what? Things that allow you to be stable-minded. That deals with the root chakra, guys. It allows you to be stable-minded. It allows you to deal with that color red. You know, the root chakra is in representation of the color red, guys. It's in representation of the element earth. So when you are stable minded, you are able to not allow energies that are around you that you are receiving because you are psychic. Remember what I said in the beginning of the video. When you are psychic and you are receiving, you are not confused as to where these energies are coming from. So you remain stable minded within your root chakra, allowing yourself to not worry about circumstances that are going on around you in your conscious world. So us being psychic, guys. Wow, my girl calling. So us being psychic, guys, we basically heal from our traumas. If we heal from our traumas, 
and we are constantly healing from our traumas, we then become more aware. Our frequency, our light is frequency, guys. So our frequency, that frequency is light. Our aura field becomes a lot brighter, it becomes a lot more wider, and it becomes a lot more stable when we understand and accept ourselves from the traumas that we have been through. Yes, we've all been through some fucked up shit. You know, we've all been, most of us, a lot of us has been raped, molested, you know, talk bad about when you ain't done nothing wrong. All of the things that are the worst things that you can possibly think of that a person can possibly go through. We've been through those things, but now it is the time to heal, to accept. That's the first meaning of healing, guys, to accept those traumas are coming from and then you are able to see things from a broader perspective that broader perspective is light it is frequency it is light frequency the fact that we're able to talk to each other we are already psychic that is a psychic channel every time every time you could talk to a motherfucker and you heal from traumas that doesn't allow you to judge people now. When you heal from traumas that don't allow you to judge people, you can then pick up on channels from the universe, guys. You can pick up from channels of that person that you're talking to and let alone you can direct where that energy is coming from. Those thoughts that come to your head like, for example, if you talk to your person, you're a person now that heals from your trauma. You are constantly healing from traumas. You're talking to a person you don't even know and you're constantly healing from traumas. And then all of a sudden, you get a thought, a.k.a. a spirit that comes to you and tells you, wow, this person just robbed a bank. And you don't know how you got that thought, guys. <laughs> It just came to you. You don't know this person. This person came into your energy. And that person came into your aura field. You don't know this person, but you're constantly healing from your traumas, right? And you get a thought that says, this person just robbed a bank. You just received a spiritual channel as to understanding this person literally just robbed a bank. And that is the time where you basically accept your intuition for what it is. Your intuition is basically a knowing. It's just as simple as that. It is nothing more than that. Intuition is not logical, guys. It's not logical. Energy and receiving energy is not logical, but you do tap into the left side of the brain that is conscious that constantly analyze things to the point where you're able to point out where that energy is coming from. So it's common sense that you're talking to a person you never met before, you're not judging that person, you're leaving those judgments behind because you're healing from traumas of you judging people off of look, sight, hearing, all things of nature that requires you to pick up on energy. And then you receive a channel that says, okay, it's around the bank. That spirit is communicating with you. Your intuition is communicating with you. Never ignore your intuition, especially when you're healing constantly. Never ignore yourself. Something doesn't feel right. That is not a logical explanation as to where something is coming from. It's not logical to be psychic. It's completely different. But it works together with your logic and your irrationale. It works together. Irrational simply meaning you being able to feel, you being able to have empathy kicks in when you basically 
have a direction as to where something is coming from. Because when you have a direction, you have stability. You are stable in representation of the root chakra, guys, in representation of the element earth. You are stable when it comes to logic. Empathy is not logical. Empathy just does. Empathy is all no. Empathy feels. Your feelings is not logical because those things operate differently. But when you bring them together, you have direction of whatever channel it is that you're trying to pick up on. You have direction to come on in your environment. Everybody is psychic. Nobody is not psychic. It just depends on how much you have healed from that allows you to be aware of your surroundings and have a stable mindset as to where you can pinpoint these things. That anxiety now, anxiety is being uncertain as to where energy is coming from. So next time you walk into a motherfucker's house, you stable minded now. You didn't you didn't recharge yourself, you meditate, you walk into a motherfucker's house, you know. Maybe your cousin, your uncle, and all these thoughts bun rush you, suicidal thoughts. You might want to fight a motherfucker. But you wasn't thinking like that until you walked into that house. A house is just as simple as it being a multi-dimensional space. A space is just as simple as a point. A space is a dimension. We create spaces all the time, guys, especially thought patterns. So when you walk into that person's house, you realize, wow, I'm having these crazy thoughts that I didn't have until I walked in here. That's because you are receiving psychic channels and intuition as to what's going on in their environment because a house has a door. A door is a portal. A portal is a entrance. It's that simple. When you walk into that entrance of that person's house, you close that door. You are now trapped into that dimension. That's why you're receiving what you're receiving with your psychic ass. Y'all have a good one.